clock tower. I must return to the tracks. Hey! Hey! Uh, oh dear. Are you out of your mind? You're all out of energy. Let's move him to the tracks. It's a long story. Hey, Al! It's me, Duck! I knew you'd make it through. Wait! I almost forgot! Duck! Huh? How's Kay doing? Uh, he's back on the tracks and seems almost fully recharged, but he's still not waking up. His engine must have overheated from running too long, all at maximum power. Really? What should we do? We have to take Kay back to his base right now to repair his engine. Uh, his engine? Uh. Well, honestly, I can't guarantee it'll be the same, even if we fix it. Okay. Uh, I'll get you home as soon as I can. Thank you, Duck. I'll stay right here with Alf. We'll check the mountain area. It's been shut down for too long. Got it. Ato D. <laughs> that guy are you talking about Alf thank goodness for him the mountain area was cut off for a long time but Alf survived the energy blackout uh, have I ever met him before oh poor Kay I guess you must have forgotten about Alf too Alf is great to have around in an emergency he stays calm and comes up with the best plans he's a great train did he used to Hate me or something? No. Why should he? Maybe I'm imagining things. But I felt like he was really upset to see me around. No way. Alf would never do that. You two may have been opposites, but no matter what, you always had respect for one another. Yeah. You're right. I'm overthinking you. percent of the engine is damaged. It needs to be repaired right away. It's strange how cold the mountain area still is, even now that the tunnel has been reopened. The mountain area should have normalized once it was reconnected to the Fountain Plaza. Is everything okay at the Fountain Plaza? Hmm, everything's fine here. I think the temperature could be unstable at the Fountain area. Then I should go back and help Sally. I imagine there's been a lot of snow there. Be sure to bring plenty of salt. I sure will, Jeffrey. Ow. Yeah? I'm so glad to see that you're okay. How'd you survive for so long after the energy was cut off? <laughs> you won't believe me, Sally. All I know is I'm so glad to see you guys again. I just thought I'd be alone forever, you know? We're not alone anymore. Now we can all be together like we used to be. With Kay? Like we used to? Uh, mm. What's wrong? Nothing. But I still remember the day when the tunnel was closed. Because of Kay's stubbornness. Uh, but you know Kay had no choice then. <sighs> I know. Uh. Hey, Benini! I need to get rid of the snow from the tracks. Do you have any recommendations? I have some salt water concentrate. That's already in liquid form. <laughs> That'd be perfect for my water guns. Huh? Two gallons, please. <laughs> well, here we are, Sally. You asked how I survived without the energy supply. Uh, yeah? 
Well, this is hell. What's this? This one here is from the gatekeeper, Mikhail. He was the first one to give me his engine. He said it'd be a waste, using up energy just to stay awake. This is an emergency situation. We don't know when the tunnel gate will open again. Well, we should give all our engines to Alf so he can do his job. It's our only hope. But Mikhail, if you do that, your engines might stop for good. That'll be the end. And that'll be the end for, for everyone. I won't sacrifice my friend's life so I can live alone. Alf, you're our leader. You must stay alive and keep trying. We're truly sorry that you have to take on such burdens. This one is from Franz at the campsite. He worked to prepare all of my tools right up until the moment he gave me his engine. Well... And this, Forest Ranger Russo. Uh, hmm. He said he loved having conversations with his visitors. He is a great friend. <laughs> This is from Heinrich from the Cheese Factory. He was afraid all the cheese would go bad oh. if he took his engine out. He asked me to take good care of his cheese, and I promised I would. Please, take a care of my cheese. I checked my friend's engines every day, always worried that they would shut down, and hoped that the trains in the Fountain Plaza would come and, and save us from that place. But... I was not sad at all, because my friends were with me in spirit, and I tried to keep everything in order. How can I ever forgive Kay after what he has done to my friends? Now tell me that, Sally. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to yell. We need to focus on normalizing the temperature in the mountain area. Great, I've made it in time. That clock tower controls this region, Sally. It receives energy from the tracks and maintains the right temperature. Uh, do you think that's a problem? Very likely so. With the tunnel closed off until now, this is my first chance to check it. Do you know how to check the clock tower? I need to get inside of the tower to be able to use Becky's scanning beam. Until then, uh, there's not much I can do. Well, let's figure it out. It can't be that hard. Duck, do you think you can get rid of the snow blocking the door to the clock tower? Of course! That's exactly why I brought the salt water! <laughs> Watch out! Now follow me! We need a new part. Yeah. I'll get it. I just need to pull the lever. The clock tower is working again. Yeah! With the clocks working, the temperature's rising. <laughs> Thank you, Sally. Duck. <laughs> huh? I think the rising temperature's causing an avalanche. Oh. That's not good. It looks very dangerous, guys. 
We should have expected this. What should we do? If we don't act quickly, it'll hit the clock tower. I think I know a way to stop it. How?